to use the heat press. I've shown you how to do HTV with an iron in the past. I've shown you how to do HTV with the easy press. And I thought I'd better just go through the heat press. So the first thing that I want to go through is a fantastic SVG designer. Now lots of you, if you're in my group Cricut Craft Creators, you will know this designer very well. Our very own Nana is completely obsessed with this designer and every day she posts links to the daily freebie. So Katie Catherine has some beautiful, beautiful designs. And as I've already mentioned, she has a daily freebie as well. Now the daily freebie is exactly that. It's only available for one day, but it is free and she does them every single day. And they are stunning. We're going to use one of her designs today. One of the things that I really like is that Katie actually offers to create your own designs. So if you need logos creating or there's a design that you want made, you've got something in your head and you kind of want to see it visualized, she will do this. And that is something that I really like. I think it's really amazing that somebody is able to offer that service. So as I say, please, please do go look at the website katiecatherine.com and also go and find her on Facebook. So here we are in design space. I've already uploaded the SVG and if you don't know how to do that, please do go look at our tutorial on it. Now I don't want to change a lot. I just want to, let's just click on this. So it's already ungrouped for me. So I just want to hide all of these first and I actually want to separate my text. So I'm just going to go in, I'm going to grab a square and I'm just going to bring it over. I'm going to unlock it. I'm just going to cover it. I'm going to highlight all and then I'm just going to slice it and that will then separate the two of them because I want to cut them out in a different colour. So I'm just going to change the colour of that one to... Let's do a brown, wine, whatever it is. And then I'm going to bring all of these back. And that's all I'm going to do to change it. I just wanted to separate the text. So if I then go in and highlight all, the width is at 10, which is what I want it at. So we're then going to go to make it. Now we're using iron on today or HTV. So I need to go through and I need to mirror every single mat because you need to do that when you're using HTV. I can then go to continue. Now I've selected my maker today. Now the other thing I want to talk to you about very, very quickly is Design Space has had an update and you can see that we can now select our favorite cut settings. I was super excited about this. This is something that I've wanted for a long time and I know a lot of people have as well. So to set your favourites, just go to Browse All Materials and you can go down and you'll see by all the materials there's a star. If you click on the star, it will then become one of your favourites. And you can either choose favourites or popular and of course you can still browse all materials. So I'm going to go and cut my mats out. So this is my heat press and it's currently heating up. I have it at a standard temperature and time. So no matter what I'm doing, I heat it up to 160 degrees Celsius and then I have it for 20 seconds. And I do that for everything. I never change it. I just don't see the need to. It works really well for me. Now, I do advise when you first get one that you play with it. I know lots of people constantly change their heat settings, they change the time settings on it. I keep mine the same because as I say it just works. But when I first got it, I was singeing things. So when I say singeing, I've had um, some messages lately where people saying, oh my fabric's gone yellow. And that is singeing. And I did that when I first started. I had it on too high for too long. And so my kind of train of thought with the heat press now is I find it's a lot better 
to heat at a lower temperature for a lower time and press maybe three times than press once or twice at a higher heat for a higher time because that that way you end up singeing things and you don't want that it turns your fabric a yellow color and you can smell it as well so I do recommend that when you first get a heat press that you get some off cuts of different types of HTV and you get some off cuts of fabric and you just play with it and you just find what works for you the way that I do it works for me it works every time I don't have any issues with it so that's why I keep my heat press at that time and that temperature. So you can see I've got my bag, I've put my first layer of HTV on and then I've got my Teflon sheet as well. And you'll note that my handles are hanging out of my heat press. If I try and put those in there, it's just not going to work at all. It's just going to be awful. Now you'll hear in a second, this is going to start bleeping at me to let me know that it's ready to go. So that's ready, so I'm just going to bring it down. I'm then going to go in with my wooden baton and I'm then just going to pull it down and it will start the countdown timer for me and then when it's ready, it will bleep at me again. So you can see that that has pressed beautifully. I'm just going to go in with my scraper. As always, you don't have to do this. It's just something I've always done. It's just a habit I've gotten into. And I just find it's something that I always do. Now this is a cool peel, so I'm going to leave it to cool down. So I'm dopey and forgot to turn the camera on when it came to peeling, but I will remember for the next one. So I'm just going to go in and place my next layer. Just make sure that I'm happy with that. And I can then put my Teflon sheet back over. So we're then going to go in and press again. And it's going to do its 20 second countdown. Again, I'm just going to give it a quick scrape. And I'm then going to go in and just peel that. I'm then going to continue adding in my layers one at a time. I'm going to keep them at the same temperature for the same timing as well. So I've now pressed all my layers on. So I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 layers. So I'm now going to go in a final time just to make sure that it's all nice and adhered. So I'm just going to bring this down. I'm going to go in and just push that down and then it will start its countdown for me. And that's it, it's all done now. So if you look here, you can see my fabric is actually coming through onto my HTV. You can clearly see the pattern there. And that is the indication that it is fully adhered.